Welcome to the tutorial fixing the character's mouth with a cutter. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get rid of the green bubble around the character's mouth while keeping the head from being exposed through the hole in the character's mouth. So in order to do this we need to use some of the effects modules from the module library. So generally you can find the module library behind the tool properties tab but if it's nowhere in your interface you can either use one of the view menus to bring it up or once again go to Windows Module Library. So if we go to the Favorites tab, I just need you to drop in uh, two color overrides and a cutter. So we can minimize that. And then if we select the mouth with the transform tool in the camera view and then click on the network view and use a keyboard shortcut cut O. We can find where the mouth is in the network view. So this is actually quite well placed because we need to see both the mouth module and the head module which are right beside one another. So first thing you need to do is take one of the color overrides and using the alt key or holding the alt key down pass it under the mouth so between the mouth and the composite. So if we follow this down, we'll see that it connects in directly into the composite. Then you can click on the yellow square here if you look it's already in the layer properties. What we're trying to see here is find that green color which is right here. In the element list, you'll see that under the palettes, there's a ton of different palettes. Actually, these are palettes that are not normally here. Once we create a template, we usually try to get rid of all the palettes, but we want to show you how to get rid of them. So I'm going to do that before continuing any further. So if we go to the color view, we'll see there's a bunch of palettes here that we don't need. So we could get rid of one of these palettes manually by clicking on it and then clicking on this minus button here. Um, the only problem with that is, first of all, it is manual, so I'd have to manually go through and click on each of these and then click on the minus button. Uh, I don't remember if you can select several at the same time by holding down shift. No, you can't, so you, you really would have to go one at a time. Um, but also, it only deletes it from the scene palette list here, but it still exists in the back end. Um, and what I mean by the back end is in your file. you have the palette library and in this library you have all those PLT files so the one I just got rid of I think was the master underscore rabbit and you see it's still here so you can actually delete this also by dragging it to the garbage to the trash um, but you can also do it a faster way instead of that two-step process what you can do here is actually under the file menu you can select this menu option, remove unused files. And that opens up this window, remove unused palettes from the scene list. So here you have the option of removing them from that scene palette list. And here you can actually delete the file from that back end, from that folder. So I'm going to say select all. Uh, you can also drag this out further and then drag the name of the palette window um, so that you can see which palettes are actually going to be deleted. You can see the names here if you need. Um, so I'm going to say OK. And so the only ones that I have left are my rabbit and my rabbit knight, which gives it that knight color, which is fine. So now if we go back here, I think I might have to actually close the layer properties and reopen them to have them be deleted from here. Uh, so let me put something in here in the meanwhile to save my place. And there you go. So now you only have your two remaining palettes, Rabbit and Rabbit Night, and you can select colors from both of them. I want to find that fluorescent green from my Rabbit palette. So once again, I'll scroll down and choose this green color here. So let's go back to the network view. And what I want to do is drag this color and put it in the color override sections. So you have the palette override, color override, and selected colors. 
Then what I want to do is I want to click on the override menu and select color not visible. In Windows, I believe you have to double click in this field under the override heading in order to get that uh, hidden pop-up menu. Then what I want to do in the network view, so I feel like I'm kind of limited for space here. is I want to connect the cutter under the head and I want to connect the right port like that. I'll drag that down a bit and then what I want to do is and you can see what's happening here as we go along. So the first one made that green not visible and now in the mask port, you'll see as I attach the second color override, you're going to see this yellow disappear. And this yellow is actually this head that's behind the mouth. So I'm going to connect the color override, the second one, underneath the mouth as well. And then I'm going to put the second color override into uh, the left cutter port. And that port is generally used for a mask. I guess I just had to click on and off it to see the layer properties. So now this time I'm going to go and search for the exact same color. But this time I'm going to drag and drop it into the selected colors window. And I want to render selected colors only. So now if you look in the camera view, the rabbit's mouth looks perfect. You don't see the head behind the mouth and you don't see the green bubble. And that is true for all the various mouths of the three-quarter profile view. So let's just go over this one more time so you understand what's going on. So here we wanted to make the green bubble not visible. So as the mouth passes through the color override into the composite, this color is being deleted. However, from the same mouth, we're choosing the same color and we're using that as the shape to cut out from this head. So that exact bubble color is cutting out a part of this yellow head and making it not visible before it runs to the composite. And that way you get rid of the color and you get rid of that section from the head. And it's good because it's dynamic. So as uh, you animate um, swapping mouths like this, it'll work in all instances where you have this combination. So that's it for the tutorial, fixing the character's mouth with a cutter. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, creating templates of your character.